Hey everybody, how are you? I hope you're doing great today. This design is going to be a super cute Christmas animal because it's going to be the alpaca or the Christmas alpaca um, or Christmas llama, but I think it goes more for alpaca because look, there is a big difference between alpacas and llamas and llamas, they have longer the neck, but alpacas have very short neck, very short legs, very, you know, like super cute and chubby. So and um i think this is a very cute design and i hope you can make it and don't forget if you make it please tag me tag me in, on social media so then um more people can also see that there is a new cool design for christmas so let's start it um you will need a heart shape and this is the way i've been making my alpacas from long time ago and i love it it's using the heart that is the blush the blush heart balloon what happens if you don't have it? Maybe we can try and play with round blush. It is possible or any mocha color. But um, I think with this one, it's gonna be really good. So let's start it. Inflate it and you don't need to inflate it that much, really. Something like this will be good enough. Now, to make this much better, usually put a raisin bean. If it's not, you have to make a bubble and then that bubble is gonna be hiding in the back. Now, this is just uh, the first attempt okay there's gonna be some changes like i'm gonna add a little neck okay but uh, it's kind of this is the idea and look how adorable they look with the hat and the idea of adding these ears this way it's gonna make this design even faster um i have another one that is an alpaca i made it for a christmas season a couple years ago check it out i have my christmas designs playlist play with those designs from other years because those are really cool so Every time I try to, you know, trying to fill it out the playlist with different uh, new ideas or technique or things, ways to make it faster. So this is kind of the idea about this design, faster and cute. So you are gonna attach a thing that racing being is gonna work good, uh, good there. But I think this is a cute design. You don't want this to be that big. So something like this, look, it's gonna be good enough. I'm losing the air until it better kind of fits in the palm of your hand. That's it. Because really this heart, you're just gonna use it for the head, you know, pretty much. So when you have it like this, look how I tied it this time. You're just gonna squish this and have something like this. It's pretty much, you know, just pushing the air. So then from here, it's gonna start. Well, this technique, we use it also for the unicorn, but the difference is we're gonna use the whole body too, because the unicorn, we made it all one color for the body that usually is or pink or purple or white so but with this case the rest of the body is going to be the color of you want the hair of the alpaca and for christmas well you can use brown or you can use um i think white will be the color because it matches with them the red and green that you're going to add so let's go with white so when you have that you will need a Y to 60, inflate it, let's see, like eight, nine finger tail, because we're gonna use a lot of this for make bubbles, to make this alpaca fluffy. So that's kind of like another cool thing. So now let's start attaching this racing bean in one of these sides. So you will feel that little racing bean, I put it in there. And look, you think, oh, Cecilia, but that's gonna take time. It doesn't really, with practice, it's, it's very easy, especially because this part, belongs from the other part of the heart so it's very soft and squishable it's going to be very easy to squish grab it and twist so you're going to have something there the racing bean okay again if you don't want to do it this way you're going to end up with a little bubble but it can be it's okay hiding in the back okay so it's up to you it's up to you what you prefer because at the end at uh, the back i don't really pay much attention but this design can be impeccable just using the racing bean so when you have that you're gonna attach it right there and then you're just gonna make two finger bubble pinch twist one and make one more one more two finger bubble pinch twist you will see why because this in some way is part of the hair of the alpaca but also it's part of the hat, the Christmas hat, that has some white also on the bottom. Okay, so when you are here, now you are gonna make first the pinch twist this way, okay? 
this way it's okay and then you're gonna uh, grab this part and this part is gonna measure uh, something like six finger long because at the end that's also gonna be representing something more of uh, what is the head and a little bit from the neck but uh, something like let me see actually yeah between five to six finger long so you have something like that grab your nasal pass it around and that's it hiding there when you have that we're, we're gonna go with um let's see let's the thing is i want this time to have a neck here so you're gonna go up okay look look what i'm doing i'm gonna go up again five finger bubble okay okay and then you're gonna now these pinch twists are gonna be like this okay so then you're gonna make bubble bubble um bubble three bubbles and now you're gonna squish or oh, remember we still have a long nozzle from this design from the heart you can use it also to grab this wipe so then it doesn't escape those little bubbles you know and then we're gonna go up with another bubble bubble and bubble okay so you put it up so the idea is the bubbles are representing the fluffy part. Okay. So when you are here going okay, up, you want to end up down. So what to do here, and this is gonna be another part of that you need to squish the air. Okay, you're gonna squish it. End up here with the nozzle of the uh, blush. It's so long that it's gonna help you a lot to attach things, and you know, on the bottom. So do it. So now you're ending up here. You have something like this, look. So from here, you just need to measure what is gonna be the, the neck. So let's go, let's try, I'm experimenting. So you just need here like two finger long, look. That's gonna be pretty much the neck. And then from here, all this, it would be awesome if you can make it as a body. If it's not, you will need another balloon, 260. But the good thing is about like, Everything is have to be short. Three finger bubble, three finger bubble, twist. Like this part can be four, three finger bubble, and then three, three finger bubble, three finger bubble, and end up with a bubble. Now, force in the balloon. Oh man, force in the balloon. You're gonna just have enough to just use, you know, um, one balloon to 60, and it still doesn't really make me feel that it's looking good. So why, you know, this design, we're gonna need to make it with two balloon to 60 and if we already know we're gonna need a second balloon to 60 why not make this more stable i think so how to do that and this is the thing i kind of like wanted to say balloon but if you start with another two pinch twist here in the bottom here um that's gonna one thing make things more stable then you just measure the neck that you want it really not that long, two finger long. And then the rest you can, if you want, make a pinch twist. Look, this is what I want, a pinch twist. And then alpacas, you know, they can have this also a little bit longer. So let's make it like four finger long. And then the rest we're gonna cut. Or if you want, it can be all this long. And it's gonna be something like this. So maybe that is too long. So you want this kind of cute and small. So it's up to you, okay? So now let's go with a second balloon. Unfortunately, I'm afraid it's gonna pop, it ain't pop. So I'm gonna just measure here four finger long and tie it. Okay. And the thing is, look, you know, I'm pushing too much. If I already know I'm gonna use a second balloon white, 260, you just end up here with a pinch twist and that's it tight okay now let's go with a second balloon to 60 yeah so that's kind of you see when you are working and creating a design you also are experimenting it's a good idea to experiment um, so you recognize why the you know why you don't keep going in the other ways that you think oh why not so you start here look and then you're going to measure four finger oh actually let's make it with like yeah, four, but, but if you have shoulder, I think it looks cuter, like three finger long, three finger long, those are gonna be the legs. 
Okay, and let's see. Look, you have something like this, and then here, like four finger bubble, and then you're gonna make two pinch twists, and then you're gonna go with let's go with another three finger bubble, three finger bubble for the back legs. And when you are here, because you already have all this piece extra, why not to make also a little bit more chubby this design? That's why you're gonna go back and measure another four finger bubble to, for the body, you know? So then you're gonna go and make, hey, yeah. thank you so much, breakfast time. Okay, and I think like even here and the neck, thank you, Ian, okay. <laughs> In any place that you find that there is a spot, okay. There we go. Thank you so much. Okay, now from here, you just need to make like maybe a shorter bubble, um, or this part is it, gonna be even cuter if you have it here because it's gonna represent also part of the belly. So make it shorter and it's squishable. You know, like maybe three. If this is four, maybe this one three, and that's gonna be cute. And then with the rest, you're gonna just cut here, like you would need no more than two finger or four. And then all this, make sure you leave like four, five, no more, really. No more, soft and squishable. And this one, lose some air and make it soft and squishable because with this little piece, you want it to bend it, even if it's little, but you want to bend it because that's another character about a packer's tail. They have their tail like this, let's see, like this, a little bit, you know, bending down. So play with that idea. I think it's that's another very cute, you know, characteristic. Okay, so you end up with something like this. Remember I told you before, this type of bodies for the unicorn, it can be for many other animals and also for the alpaca. With this leftover, you're gonna squish kind of half, half a half, yes. And then you're gonna just attach it in between so to represent uh, ears for the alpaca. So these ears are gonna go a little bit like little horns, something like this, look. And trust me, in context, this is gonna be a very cute alpaca or even a llama, but trust me, someone say, oh, it's a llama. We say, well, llama, if I have the neck much longer, if this body is also much longer, if the legs are much longer, because alpacas are much bigger, and you will see. But, but you can say, yeah, alpaca, llama, at the end, it doesn't really matter. The face also, when we draw, is gonna be look much cuter for alpacas than llamas. Okay. So now, when you're here, this is the fun part. These alpinidos, that's what it calls, like, um, they are cousins with um, camels. So they are camelidos, camel family. <laughs> but these are from the Andes, the alpacas. So they need some shoes, and the shoes, you know, it will be cute with Christmas color. So whatever color you have left over, like, a uh, piece of red or piece of green. You can make shoes red here and shoes green, you know. I have, for example, this leftover green. And, and you just need to make like one finger bubble. So if you have a 160, even better, because the thing is those little shoes have to be more skinnier than the rest of the body. So then it looks cuter, you know, the design. So you, when you have it like this, you know, tie the two little bubbles and you can, leave a keep there very little because it's like and then you would need to repeat this again one finger bubble another one finger bubble and tie these two together and then you're gonna make it a double pinch twist in a moment so you will see tie it and then you, you just twist it as a pinch twist and remember we're using right now left over so that's why i want you to understand that if you have your leftover, your scraps, save them. This is the moment to use. Mm. And it can be useful for many occasions. So you just attach it right here on the bottom for the shoes. But the good thing is, for example, if you're in Valentine's, it's time to use all your leftover things. You can be this little detail, you know, because at the end, this alpaca can be for any occasion, just changing the color of the shoes, changing the color of the scarf, the scarf so let's do this if you don't have any tip there 
you know, you can just pass it. But I have a little tip, and the same is good enough. The looks are very stretch, stretchy, so you can always find a little stretch, you know, and, and attach it. Look, this time the shoes are green, and I think it's super cute. Now, what else from here? Now we have a neck, so now you can see the difference. This time I didn't put a neck, so I think it's better with the neck, you know, it's... This body looks much better. Uh, the difference from the design that I made, the alpaca, from my original, you know, alpaca design, very cute. I made this is with another color, with the same color, you know, as the face here. But now I'm thinking, you know, it's also a way to represent it. If you want later with Sharpie, and this is optional, you can always make here like something like inside idea of a little bit of pink there but it's optional you know you can make it better okay it's like a bunny ears but shorter you know and skinny and it's like really it's not that long unless it's you want to pack them you can make it longer they have longer ears okay what else from here uh the neck so uh the neck for example here you have a cute neck to put pass around a scarf so what you can do another balloon scrap 160 okay this is a moment to use your scrap 160 i have an entire balloon here 160 but any scrap like something like this you can use it okay you just need to make one finger bubble look and then another finger bubble pinch to it you don't want this to be too long too big so one finger bubble one finger bubble Connect it right here in the center and then pass it around that little neck, okay? And then attach it to those uh, pinch twists, that pinch twist and that one and the bubble. And just pass it around and it's gonna end up with something like this. I'm gonna show you. You just make another one finger bubble and cut. The rest, save it. You can make a lot of little scarf for these animals that have this long, this neck, you know, the even um, other designs, you know. So look at this, look at this, it's adorable. And now having this neck also, you can have the chance to do something like this if you want. And it's gonna be looking to you. What are a good idea is um, the Christmas hat. This time I didn't have a red to 60, so I use a hot pink, like magenta. But at the end, any color, it can be representing a winter hat. So I have here, I found red scrap, and you don't need much. So that's one the good thing to have your scrap. Um, after making all these, you know, if you have a white uh, scrap or leftover white from all these two balloons to 60 white that you are using for the body, you maybe you can have a scrap so if you have it it's time to use that little scrap and save just at least like two or three finger bubble and you can make it into a pinch twist or what is you know okay you can also save the end the tip but when you do that make sure also you leave a, a tip you know as long as the tip you're gonna leave here it's gonna help to make the, the, the hat longer and with a more crazy shape. So this is just something you keep in mind. As long as the tip is gonna help you to mold the ball and make this even more wiggly, okay? This hat more wiggly or more wiggly, no, more like, like that shape. <laughs> like, ooh, what's going on? Okay, you're gonna make a marriage twist. You don't have to, you can make this part much easier, of course, but in my case, look, you, I put your finger like that and keep pushing, keep pushing until you will say, okay, let's check it out and then go deep back, deep back, deep air. So then you have something there like this. Okay, so look at this long hat. It's fine, you twist, 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 twist. And then here you're gonna cut, leaving some tip because that's also gonna help you to tie your design, the chunky part, and then hide it back but also you will have some tip to connect it later to the rest of the body and with all this you can always make you know some shape like look you know to make this hat kind of like funny look i'm just bending and you have something like this that's kind of a funny cute shape and you don't have to you can put it straight so I play with that idea okay now i'm gonna I'm first attach it and then i'm gonna play with more with the shape 
in between those white two pinch twists. Pull and pass it around and there we go. Now, you can always, you know, again, make the shape you prefer when it's there. So it's gonna be something like this. Look at this. What do you think? Tell me in the comments. Um, this is kind of the idea. Now, Sharpie time. I think this is a very cute design. I love it. It's adorable. The size is perfect. And it's a, that variation to change the color of the ears and then having here this point to attach a hat like this. It's a really cool upgrading in, in some way because trust me, check out my alpaca from two, three years ago. It's adorable. I love it. So, and I do that all the time. And when I was a bling bling jam, it, there was a contest and I won for the five minutes design. But I think my alpaca was, I think first prize or second, something like that. But it's a really cute, adorable design. So I'm gonna um, do Sharpie time. So now look, for this type of design, I recommend you, look at your design in front, the heart, this part, look at front and then from there you start making the face you want people to be able to see it like from the front and then here look i'm looking so that way when people is looking in the front is going to be able to see the face and also how you want people to see in the face for example i made it maybe a little bit too up the the, the eyes maybe a little bit lower will be better so you can always fix that a little bit okay because one thing it's cute about the alpacas are those big eyes black dark big eyes but they have some highlights so leave some space for later attach the highlights okay the, the white sharpie then also alpacas they have adorable eyelashes so like it looks like you already have makeup um then here for the nose look at this shape it's also like a heart but a stretching you know and then here it's gonna end up going down and then to make it look cute you can make it with some um with some teeth it can be cute you don't have to but why not then sharpie time to make things cuter okay so white for the highlights Shaky, shaky, you can always make this much better. Add a blue eyes or green around. Um, you know, everything it can be, you know, with a lot of more uh, options. Just, just take your time, create something. Oh, my Sharpies. Be patient with your Sharpies because sometimes they can be even worse. They can explode and make a mess in all your hands and your design, right? So this is not that bad, okay. So you have here this type of face. Look at that. Um, what else? Uh, um, blah, 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 pink. <laughs> I know it's adorable. It's so cute, and I can't wait to see how you do this. Now you can make that sh look some cheeks like this. Okay. So uh, what we can say about this idea of this alpaca? It's, it can be for Christmas, it can be for any occasion, you just play with the colors and um, so everything, you know, even some colors may vary like hot pink, but it's still kind of like a Christmas or cute design for winter. Uh, the nose, the nose you can color it brown, you can color it actually all black, it's gonna be fine, so it's not like, oh, it's not like, oh man, I'm gonna color it all, it's okay, black, it's fine. Uh, in order not so to save time, right? Um, so pretty much, I think this is the design. Tell me in the comments what do you think. If you make it, don't forget to tag me. I love to see how you've been doing this idea. You can always make it like this. Look. You can make it look in it, twisting just a little bit of neck like this. And I think it's adorable. Remember. A lot of potential play with for example if the hat is another color you just make some lines like this and can be like a type of candy cane hat um, the same with the shoes you know it can be different colors pinch twist and it's gonna be more fun um, but this is the idea I think this is a, another hit that I have when I make this design everybody loved it so uh, I'm so happy to share it with you 
have a wonderful day and don't forget like comment subscribe now the difference you see here it doesn't have the neck but i think it looks much better with the neck just be careful when you do the sharpie and you have the neck make sure you know because right now it's like it's like people is going to be looking more from up to down and it look adorable but trying to make it more you know that people can see it from the front you see because okay look like that looks so adorable but trying to make a little bit i think the face a little bit you know that markers you know a little bit down something yes so you kind of consider it um you can always try to bend it but i think that's the design okay have a wonderful day and see you in the next video don't forget like comment subscribe and please please subscribe we're almost there to get 10,000 subscribers that would be awesome and the other thing is your collaboration your support your good advice you know sending balloons um donating money to my Ben more paper account it totally makes me you know like feel like yes it's worth it all this time all this you know like what is um effort that i put you know for sharing with all of you these videos mm, and that's i think it will be awesome because it's like i i just can't wait you know to um to have events sometimes it's not like we have events all the time especially in november it's been really hard because there's not really much events for me um on november but i can't wait for december and still you know it's not like uh, i'm gonna have as many as i wish because um there's some plans i already have for a long time ago so you will see okay okay so don't forget like comment subscribe and check up on the description of all my videos i can't wait to share the next design <laughs> bye bye